So guys, within the world of New World, with the latest patch on the game, the 1.1.1, Amazon snuck in a new secret boss known as the Turkelon Feathered Avenger of Death. And basically, it's a giant turkey. If you cross King Kong and a turkey, this is what you will get. Today, guys, I'll bring you all the details you need to know about this thing, what it drops, what you do with what it drops, where it spawns, its spawn rate, and much more. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and to give back to you guys, I am giving someone the chance to win 10,000 marks of fortune. To be the chance of winning these, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on, and winners will be announced at the end of the week. Good luck everybody. So the Turkelon Feathered Avenger of Death was added into the game at the early hours yesterday morning and it's popping up all over the map. This giant turkey is popping up literally all over the map. Now it's a level 66. It's absolutely massive, but I will say it isn't too hard to beat whatsoever. It'll take probably a team of three or four, roughly five to 10 minutes. If you've got a healer, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. And before we get into the locations of where this can be found, the reward you get from this big old dirty turkey is something called the monstrous turkey leg now this isn't a guaranteed drop i did get one first try though but it isn't a guaranteed drop and what this monstrous turkey leg is needed for is a new recipe called the roasted monstrous turkey dinner this increases constitution by one and up by 0.15 for 40 minutes your health slowly recovers while under these effects the potency of this item adjust based on your level now if you are a level 60 it's quite crazy because you get a plus 33 constitution and a plus five percent luck for 40 minutes and that's for consuming one of these recipes to craft this recipe you need the monstrous turkey leg you need five potatoes three cooking oils one parsley one sage one rosemary and one thyme Okay guys, so onto where this big guy can actually spawn in. Thanks to Map Genie for this amazing map. Uh, it shows you all locations. I'll link the website down below if you do want to check it out. Um, so we'll start basically at the start uh, bottom of the map here. We're in first light. We can see there's actually three locations here. We've got one right there and right there. They're right by the actual Cape Thomas Beach Shrine actually. And um, we've got one a little further up. Well, basically directly north of a... Uh, first light one right there too we move across here to uh i keep forgetting cutlass keys my bad we have three here too we have one right there move across here we've got one literally right by the outpost right here and also by this uh marshall shrine right there and we've got a little further up and also one here so if we zoom out and go up onto monarchs here I think there's only one no there's two monarchs we've got one bottom right right by uh river seat see it right there and if we go up we can see there's one right here too okay so we move across now to windsward there's three here and actually they're actually quite close to each other so primrose is the place you probably know it's got a ton of hemp here the hemp fields all up around here spawns right there if we go slightly to the right we've got one right here by uh, Grenville and if you go up there's one right here so these are quite close together now I actually don't know if you'll be on uh, multiple places at the same time I think he I guess he will be but what I do know is his spawn rate I think it's every two and a half hours so once he dies it'll take two and a half hours to respawn back in okay so if we go up to Everfall and we have two right here. So one just left of uh, Amberwood. If we go right here, there we go, there's the other dude, there's your location. So we're good. So there's none within a week quarter, so it seems. There's none within Weaver's Fen. At Brightwood, we have two spawn locations. So Bronze Grove, just past Bronze Grove, uh, we have a spawn location. So if you spawned in here, the Alchemist Shrine runs straight through there. A chance you can spawn here too. And we also have, if we go up, one right there. Just a right of Wolfborough. There we go. So 
A great cleave are near the harder area so you don't spawn in. But if you go across to Wrestler's Show, we can see there's two locations here. So we have one right next to the Shrine of... I don't even know what that says, so I'm not even going to embarrass myself trying to pronounce that. But yeah, this Shrine right here. <laughs> if we go up slightly, actually quite near, we have uh, another spawn location. And then lastly, guys, we have two within Morningdale. So we have one right at the bottom. Uh, but literally direct south at the bottom. Bloody planes come down, we're good. And literally, well, one right there. There we go. So, that is it there, the location to where this big old dirty turkey can spawn in. And yeah, that's it, guys. Get farming. Because you see the actual items, you, well, the item you can get, they're actually selling for decent money, just over a thousand gold coins. That's what the recipe itself, people are asking for basically 2,000 gold coins, as you can see on the screen now. Haven't witnessed none of these selling yet. I'll probably list it at about 1,500. You'll probably see that sell. But yeah, guys, Amazon have added in a new giant turkey boss. Pretty cool. Hope we see more of these in the future too. These surprising bosses. Uh, these random bosses, I think they're cool as heck. But yeah, guys, that is all you need to know about Turkey Run, the Feathered Avenger of Death. His spawn locations, his level, what he drops, what he uses his uh, loot for. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave it a like, it really helps me out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.